Hey guys, okay, so we're here with Lita, and I've had, uh, I had a wrist adjustment video that was real rough, but um, people liked it and they have a request for more. And luckily Lita here, who's one of, our, um, one of our Pilates instructors, came in and she's offered to donate her problematic wrist. So, I, in another video and other articles, I talk about bones out of place. The bones can move out of place. They teach you in school that it's not what happens, but we can physically see in cases like this, and maybe if we can get the camera close up to here, just get it to right here so we can see this much. You can see that there's an actual physical deformity where this bone is shifted from its normal location. She has it on both wrists. This is common either on a injury where we, where we um, flex, over flex the wrist, or sometimes actually if you um, hyper flex the wrist, it, it damages the connective tissue and that allows that bone to, um, to jut out this way. There's supposed to be an arch there and arches can buckle out like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an adjustment see if we can actually make a, a physical noticeable change. In one adjustment, what we might be able to do is get that bone to sit where it belongs. Over time, what will happen is that we can allow the connective tissue to heal so it'll actually stay that way. So what we'll do first is I'm gonna turn the edge facing this way. You can stay right there. Right where that bone protrudes, and this should be the lunate. I'm gonna just do a double thumb contact. She's gonna relax her arm. The thrust is gonna be this way, and you might be able to hear that, so we'll be quiet for a second. Let that loose right there. And we're gonna actually get a little bit more. When we're doing that, that's against the, the the cavalier part of the radius right there, and a little bit more. It's hard to get it past that little boundary. Uh, there we go, a little bit more. And now, of course, what I'm trying to do on video, it's not as good. I can feel it. I know, but it's not quite there, so I'm gonna have to edit that. I'm gonna come right in there so we get close. There it goes. Yeah. And so after the adjustment, I hold that for a second. This is kind of um, cartilaginous connective tissue, so it takes longer for it to gel. There's also the radius and ulna that come here, and they're supposed to cavalier, and, or they're supposed to have a cantilever that holds that over. So I'll go to the radius, make sure that that doesn't need to be pushed forward. I can feel that it does. So we just follow that up with this, a little bit more right there. There it is. And then I hold them together for a second. In cases of ligamentous laxity or when we have loose wrists, what we'll occasionally do is we will wrap or tape the wrist to provide that, give it an ample chance for healing. And then we might just occasionally check the elbow to make sure that it has everything we need, and that's good right there. So that's a, a wrist adjustment. If I don't want to test it too much because we just did it, but what you can generally see sometimes we can actually get a decrease in the deformity looks right away. Close to me. Yeah, so that's really common in wrists and ankles where you can actually see the deformity from a distance and through proper adjusting you can correct it and get rid of the deformity. That's it. Thank you. All right. <laughs>